Hey everyone, and to get the obvious out of the way, I look like an absolute twat right now. I've got, um, where are we? I've got a, a pH monitor, which is measuring the acidity in my stomach. I don't want to bore you guys with that too much. I did a video about this on my other channel just to explain why I'm getting it. Um, but yeah, I'm getting it out in a few hours and I'll stop looking like an idiot. Um, but this isn't about me, this video. This video is about a new announcement by Asus. They've announced the H370. Now, they were known for the Asus B250, uh, which got 19 PCI Express slots. This one has 20. And, and this is the thing, guys. See, when something like this comes out, it always makes me laugh because... You know, obviously I've got a mining channel, I've got a cryptocurrency mining channel, but I've got another channel that focuses on gaming. And lots of gamers do turn up and say, you guys are ruining gaming and all that. And when they say something like that, I always point them to something like this, because, you know, the companies that are selling mining-related products are the same companies that are pushing gaming-related products. The computing companies like Asus and all that, these companies have embraced mining, which I'm all for, but it kind of, you know, loses the argument. From the gaming side of things that uh, that crypto miners are killing the industry you know forgetting the fact that the the computing industry is loving it um so you can see it here this is the official announcement you can see aces.com us um so yeah it's got a, a lot of explanations here you can see the stats down here at the bottom um two dims max 32 gigabytes you wouldn't even need that ddr4 memory one pci express times 16 slot uh two serial ATA six connectors 20 vertical USB ports over PCI Express, and it's USB 3, 4, USB 2. Um, this is also an official Asus website. Uh, the Asus H370 Mining Master connects to 20 GPUs to one motherboard with PCI Express over USB, and you can see them all lined up there. AO1, AO2, AO3, etc. On and on and on. Um, so 20 GPUs from the one board um, some people are for this, some people aren't. I've seen a lot of people saying that they prefer just one board, like eight GPUs at maximum. But there is, you know, a lot of people who have been buying this one in the past. Saves you buying a lot of things like additional hard drives. You get everything under one system. And from an administration point of view, it may be better. It's not something I've tested myself. But the good thing is, if you look here, um, they've got some, you know, it's all been set up from a mining perspective. So they've got things here, GPU state detection will help you see what's going on. Uh, and it's got other things as well. There's a part down here. Yeah, so they've got 4G uh, decoding. It's enabled by default. They've got all the PCI Express lanes running at Gen 1 by default. Just lots of little things like this. These are the kind of things you normally have to tweak on a motherboard, and they've got them all there by default. Um, so there's, you know, the, the obvious question would be, you know, when you've got a larger um, motherboard like this, the larger motherboard, you're thinking, well, we're going to have to use something like an add to PSU board. And we're going to have to connect, you know, like three different um, power supplies all together. But you can see here, there's one, two, three power supplies. So you can add three different power supplies directly to the board. So, you know, that's easily, you could add up to, add up to like 4,500 easy, uh, 4,500 watts. You could do that pretty easily with this because, you know, you've got A, B, and C all linked up. And A, B, and C correspond to here, where you've got A, O2, A, O6, C20, C19, etc. Um, it's a good setup. Um, you know, if I'm buying another board in the future, I'd have to look at something like this. I've been using the, I don't know if you guys can see it in the background. Uh, I've been using the Asus Prime 270E. I've been very happy with it, but you know, that is a board that's got one power supply that you need to make a lot of tweaks to. I know how to make those tweaks, but you know, just having a motherboard like this, we don't have to make any changes. I think that's pretty good. So this isn't released yet. It's just been announced by Asus yesterday. Um, and yeah, I don't know what the price on that is going to be. I reckon a few hundred. Um, they always charge a little bit more. But the fact that you're basically getting... It's essentially three motherboards in one, if you look at it that way. So it will save you money. Uh, and I do like the fact that, you know, it's got all these... Um, like the BIOS and all the features are geared towards miners, basically, instead of gamers. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, people say that... There's been a lot of talk recently about uh, ASIC miners killing it and GPU mining is dead, but, you know, look at what ASICs are doing here. GPU mining isn't going away. You know, the, the ASIC mining market might be increasing, but I don't think GPU mining is going away. So I'll leave links to all these articles, guys. You can check them out and you can um, give your view on this. Um, yes, I <laughs> look like an idiot. An idiot. An idiot. I can't even talk today. 
Uh, nothing to do with the tube. As in, I can't even blame the tube going down my throat. Um, but I'll, I'll leave a link to this video if you want to know what's going on there and why I look like I do. But in a few hours' time, when I do a video later on today, I won't have this on. So it's all good. Let me know what you think about this, guys. Check this uh, announcement out and check this article out. And let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, guys, take care.